Welcome. I'm Christine Devine, and I'm happy to be here to share with you how important it is to maintain a healthy home and community environment. Do you know that one out of ten American children suffer from asthma, and that some of the causes of asthma, lead poisoning, and unintentional injuries are hidden health hazards within our own homes? It's true. The very places where we live might not be as safe as you or I may think. We're looking to deputize kids just like you to become junior health inspectors to help us lead the fight of creating and maintaining healthy homes and communities. How can you become a junior health inspector, you ask? Well, let's take a closer look and visit inside Ms. Castillo's fourth grade classroom where they are well on their way to becoming junior health inspectors. Today, class, we're going to explore ways when you can become junior health inspectors by helping to prevent diseases and eliminating health hazards in and around your home. Does anyone know what some of the possible health hazards may be in your homes? I know, I know. Yes, Evelyn. Secondhand smoking. Ew! That's right. Not only does secondhand smoke cause cancer, but it is also a strong trigger for asthma. Does anyone know any possible other asthma triggers in their homes? Goopy green and black slimy mold. Yeah. Ghostbusters are goopy green, but home mold is usually brown, black, or orange spots when it first appears. My mom uses vinegar and water to get rid of mold. That's a smart and safe solution. It's better than using all those unnecessary chemicals. Any other asthma triggers? What about bed bugs? Well, the ones that cause asthma triggers are called dust mites. And yes, they are hazardous to our health if we have allergies or asthma. And now I feel like cucarachas, the cockroaches. Anyone else have ideas about what could be detected as a safety hazard or an unintentional injury? When an octopus cat? Oh, you mean you suck it with too many cords in it, right? Yes, very good. Any unintentional injuries? What about broken stairways or railings? Or cleaning solutions left open? Yes, excellent class. You're all doing very well. You're all learning what it takes to become junior health inspectors who actively protect the quality of your life and those around you. Hey, let's all do on safety checks and then meet up at my house. Let's do it. Educating our families on the hazards hidden in our homes and communities is important, and we must all take personal responsibility for preventing further health problems and ensuring that our homes and neighborhoods remain safe and clean. The innovative Healthy Homes Demonstration Program has been developed to help our cities achieve this mission of creating healthy homes and communities for us all. Now let's take a look at our budding junior health inspectors in action. Follow along with me as I peek in to see how they're all doing. Hey guys, how's your inspections go? Great! Great. What'd you find? Found lots of things in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. What do you spy in the kitchen cabinet with the food? Solvent? A definite no-no. An electrical outlet without a cover? Very dangerous. Cigarette butts on the counter? Second-hand smoking. Immediate disposal alert. How about under the sink? Is that an unmarked bottle? Bad idea. Could that be lead in that pottery? Bingo. Ready to go, Allison. But what other things can you do to prevent hygiene in the kitchen? Make sure to wash your hands before eating. Would you turn up, Evelyn? This inspector uncovered many bathroom violations. Could a hole in the wall mean roach or rodent invasions? And now I feel like cucarachas, the cockroaches. <coughs> Home mold is usually brown, black, or orange spots when it first appears. Do you spy that octopus? Not good news at all.
That's right. All medicine should be properly capped and put out of reach of young children. can we do to help mold build up? Opening up bathroom windows or you can just dry the walls in your shower after taking one or a bath. And if you have a ceiling fan, that can help too. How about you, Mia? Any luck? You bet my bedroom had a chair. What's that? A torn screen? An immediate must-do repair job. Looks like eating out from the kitchen is a quick invitation for a cockroach party. And now for those cucarachas, the cockroaches. <coughs> Do you spy asthma triggers? That's right, time to bag up your stuffed animals. Where's that dust mite buster? me up and what's the best thing to put on your bed to prevent dust mites? Ew, dust mites! Creepy. Special mattress covers or you can simply vacuum your mattress regularly and wash your sheets and blankets in hot water once a week. Hey, what did you and Andre come up with? Plenty! Plenty. Rags by the heater? A very important safety matter. Eureka! A rainbow of paint cans that won't lead to a pot of gold. Do you spy loose wiring? Positively a shocking electrical hazard. Is that a dangerously built structure? I would think so. Kitty litter and kids' toys, not at all a good mix. Do you spy an environmental hazard which would certainly harm innocent wildlife in our oceans? I must say, very smart work, junior health inspectors. I'd like to you guys. Yeah, but how do we make sure our water and beaches stay polluted? Clean out gutters with the broom instead of washing away with the holes into the gutters. And don't dump trash in the street. Looks like we're definitely going to use some help here. Let's get to it. Congratulations, kids. For your complete home inspection work, you are now all officially Healthy Homes Junior Health Inspectors. Raise your right hand. Everybody, raise your right hand. And let's all pledge the Junior Health Inspector promise. I promise to do my best to keep my home and surrounding environment safe and healthy. Terrific job and congratulations once more for becoming our newest junior health inspectors. I know you learned a lot, but remember that these are just a few ways that you can be active in cleaning up your homes and communities. We need everyone out there to join in the fight. We're counting on you. Remember, it's important we all take actions to make our homes and communities safer places to live, right? Right! <laughs>